Ah, Christmas, December, festive season. I really love this time of year. Family gets together, brides happening all over, you know, crushes are coming back from school, and all that kind of stuff, you know. None of that stuff can happen anymore because of this goddamn virus. You know, the way this thing happened is that we came from a what a 21 day lockdown that ended up being day 200 and what, 210 today. I might be wrong. Things were starting to look up, you know, restrictions started being released. Uh, I mean, they were terrible. So we had level five lockdown, man. No alcohol. Like that was the one that really killed me the most. Forget about the places they can close down. They can close down the restaurants and all that kind of stuff. But then the alcohol, that was a real hard one. But we made it, we survived. And when the restrictions came up, cigarettes were being sold again, alcohol was sold again. We can go around, but we had to wear these dumbass masks everywhere we go. And like, <laughs> I can tell you right now, it went completely off the rails. Like it just went off. Com like I would go to an event and I would see people wear masks in the weirdest way. Where's my mask? I want to show you how. God damn, where's my mask? Where's my mask? I would see people wear masks to put it over the mouth or 10 minutes later now it's hanging off the one side of the ear or it's above their head or behind their head or completely on the floor. And I had this prediction that we are definitely gonna go back to lockdown in December because you cannot control black people in December. Zim Ben Ten. This shit's gonna go out of control and it's gonna go everywhere. Cause like, let me just tell you what just happened. I just got the news now from uh, good old uncle Sir Ramaphosa and uh, he's he let us know what's happening now. We're going back to lockdown. Well, a controlled, a more controlled lockdown. And we're getting off this, uh, apparently, this na national disaster act or whatever like that. But we've been transferred from that act to another act by the, the, the World Health Organization and all that kind of nonsense. So it's not really doing anything much for us. What's happening, actually, and the funny thing is now, it's starting off in uh, um, what you call Port Elizabeth and Cape Town, all that kind of stuff, where they're starting over there. And it's gonna slowly move on to us, and especially with me, I stay in free state, so I know I'm definitely, definitely, definitely gonna get on because our case numbers have been rising up. But anyway, so the first thing that's happening, they're introducing a new curfew time, 10 o'clock, back home, no leaving, no going anything at 10 o'clock, and between midnight and 4 a.m., full closed, rows are closed, and everything like that. Uh, there's been restrictions to public gatherings, I believe, so uh, nobody's going anywhere to do any kind of thing. So if you're planning on having a big, you know, 5,000 event where a lot of people are coming, you can forget about that because that ain't going to happen, which sucks. But luckily now they're still keeping the, 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 the restaurants and the, the, the uh, uh, clubs and everything open, but uh, still retaining that 50% uh, max capacity and stuff like that. So, yeah, you can still fit 250 people in a club, not that bad. But... But they're trying to urge us to keep it to like a hundred to two hundred feet, uh, fifty people outside and all that kind of stuff. But it's still, still not, still not bad. Taxi drivers now also have to drive with, uh, with mask on. Everybody mask, which is something that's uh, crazy. It will, they've been doing that already, so nothing really. Thing. But my thoughts about all this lockdown stuff. You know what I mean? Like, uh, COVID is such a sudden thing that just came out of nowhere, and it's affecting a lot of people. I won't lie. But I feel like if they want to implement something like this, they should have implemented it four weeks ago because of the whole, now like we're in December right now and now you want to give restrictions. Got into the, we had no chance to prepare ourselves. We had no chance to go get ourselves some supplies or anything like that. Today, right after they said that, we are back into lockdown. And now if you've given people at least a, a week's notice, but also that could also uh, make panic and all that kind of stuff but i also kind of predicted that it would be a lockdown coming back in here but eh, it is what it is so now how do we survive actually what i wanted to do is like make like an ultra lord list of like a five list of things you should have to keep yourself busy or entertained in lockdown or how to get um yeah like i said like an ultra lord top five things to do during lockdown or how to survive lockdown number one i would actually like definitely i would stock up on alcohol if you have a chance because now we're gonna go back to buying alcohol illegally so alcohol and cigarettes you, you, it's like trading now you gotta have a lot of that because there's gonna be a demand that's about to come in there so you need supply so if you know of anybody that uh, has alcohol or that sells alcohol or makes alcohol like your boy now's the time for you to to get that and you can actually make a good profit i mean like i made a solid 4k like two months back when uh, went to that kind of lockdown 
Uh, so get if you can get your hands on alcohol and cigarettes now, it's a good time to stock on that because we're definitely gonna we're gonna need that. Number two, I would say you're gonna need some entertainment of some kind. You know what I mean? To keep yourself busy because now I can't go out anymore. We can't be drinking and stuff like that. So I would definitely stock up on something that can get me like entertained or whatever like that. So like you know, get your airtime, get your data's right, and all that kind of stuff because you're not gonna go out anytime soon. Uh, I'd also stock up on number three with like masks and a lot of like uh, ha hand sanitizer stuff. You know, general purpose stuff to keep you, you know, keep you going. You know, hand sanitizer. You got to do the things with between the, the knuckles and all that kind of stuff. And um, I'd also, oh, wait, number three, food. Food is flipping important as well. I remember during the lockdown when, um, when it first hit, like it just went to shit. You know what I mean? Like there, there was no food at the fucking local grocery market. So... Uh, we had to wait for this uh what you call the, um, the, 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 the to give us our rations and stuff like that for the for the week which will go by very quickly because they don't do the proper census because they just assume there's only a house of three people when you live with fucking eight other people in the house and all that kind of shit but I'm not gonna get into that so i'll get like stock up on a lot of food like uh, especially things that are uh, they don't perish you know what i mean doomsday preppers kind of vibe canned food beans uh sultana tuna get on the point things that don't perish so long because we don't know how long we're going to stay in this lockdown this time and uh things like that uh, they're quite relatively cheap you know canned food canned food can go maybe you get like a can canned turkey canned chicken you never go wrong uh so that's number four i'm on number four right i think i'm on number four i'm not gonna go back and check but i'm on number four uh number five what's the most important thing to get especially now if you're gonna be living in a, a times like this where we can still kind of go out but not really go out yes sis no, 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 what would be my number one put in, in, in the comment section what would your number one be i'm gonna take a little sip of what remaining alcohol i have left because it ain't coming back no well i have no idea what i'm have for number one number one I, I, i'll leave it open i'll get like probably some some handy dandy things to like grow food or something like that. I don't know, just to be self self sustained or have self like to keep yourself going and all that kind of stuff. But those are the five things I think that someone should have during uh, um, the lockdown and stuff like that. Especially keep going all that kind of stuff. And remember, if you're going to be selling any contraband, we're going back to prohibition, so prohibition prices. So you know, keep it on the down low, but make sure you get your money and commission on that kind of stuff. Stock up now while you have the chance. I'll definitely do that. And also stay safe in December, man. Guys, don't just be willy-nilly going around traveling and infecting people with all that shit, you know what I mean? We don't need that kind of stuff. We don't need that kind of stress. It's supposed to be a good time. It's supposed to be a help, you know, one time, everybody all good and shit like that. But now we are stuck indoors again. Sad. But anyway, if you like videos like this, please do hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to remind you a second time to hit that like and subscribe button. Guys, I'll check you in the next video. Peace.